Morning guys. Morning. Uh, first morning in Bath Alona. <laughs> Bath Alona, yes, it's a big fat car, tongue. You say you like that. Bath Alona. It's how do you say it? Is it? Oh, say okay. Bath Alona. Uh, yeah, not 100% sure what we're fully going to do. No, we had a, a little walk out of the hotel last night after we checked yeah. in, and it seems like a good location. Yeah, yeah. But I think the stuff, we want to head more towards like the market, the big famous Barcelona market, yeah. Barcelona, Barcelona, and the um, church, cathedral. Yeah, the big yeah. Gaudi, Gaudi one. Yeah, it's Gaudi. Yeah. Is it Gaudi? I think, I think it's it is. Gaudi. <laughs> we're not 100% sure on that either. We're not 100% sure on much today. No, we're just going to But we, we leave are, the hotel and head that way. Yeah, but we are 100% sure we're going to eat some nice food. Oh God, that's 100%. 100%. percent percent. Million percent? Yeah, let's go. Right, so behind we've reached the absolutely beautiful church, the La Sagrada Familia. Familia. I'm going to say La Sagrada Familia. That's right, what okay, I kept, say kept, would be. Yeah, you can pronounce it better. But it's absolutely beautiful. So this is another work of Gaudi. So it started construction in 1882 and it still hasn't been completed. I think it was due to be done in 2026, which marked 100 years after Gaudi's death but because of COVID, it's been put behind. And as you can see at the top of it, there's still like construction work being done. There's like cranes and stuff like that. Yeah, um, I'll just show it quick. I don't know if this crane is here all the time because we went to the Lego store last night and they've got like a Lego replica of it and they've got a crane on top of there. So I'm guessing like it must be, or it must have been there for years if it's on the Lego replica of it. Yeah, so I mean like it's still, it's still not completed after all this time, but it's absolutely stunning. And, and as you can see behind, some of the trees are blocking. I think this is the main entrance behind, like the front of it. But we're going to try and walk around and get some better views because the trees are blocking it a little bit. And it's nice to see it from different angles as we walk around. Yeah, it, and so. we're currently in um, this little park. I think this yeah. is called the Park of Sagrada La Familia, something like so. that. You know, there's a couple of little bits here. But there is another one round the back of it which we're going to head to. It looks a bit nicer on pictures. It's got like a pond yeah. and all stuff like that. So it's just, a, it's a beautiful building though. Like, cause obviously you've seen it on pictures and on the TV and stuff, but in person, like it's just even more like amazing. So tickets are about 36 euros each. Highly recommend if you want to do pre-booking them, they're sold out for today. Uh, so we can't go inside. And uh, Stacy says it's also extra to go in the spheres. Yeah, something I think like that. The spheres, the towers, the kind of thing. But I think that's it. I think that was about fifty something. Right. I'm not sure. We'll have a look and put it on. But sadly, it's all sold out. Yeah. It looks gorgeous inside. I'll stick a few photos on top now, like inside. It looks gorgeous. But uh, yeah, sadly, we can't show you inside. Right, so we're at the front now. You can see like all the statues built into it and stuff. As you can see, it's very busy. We're guessing this is the main entrance, like Stacy said before. But like, it looks like it's got knights on horses. I'm guessing it depicts a story of Christ, because you can see him just here. Uh, it does say uh, Jesus Nazareth, rare. I'm not even going to pronounce that last word. So like, I'm guessing it's the story of Jesus maybe on this church. But you can't, you, you can't believe like how big it is in person it's massive Kev is not happy why aren't you happy Kev? so we thought oh we'll just nip and get it but I want a cup of tea it's so right next to the we're in the church. McDonald's <laughs> right and um, Stacey ordered a latte macchiato or whatever which by the way is the world's smallest one that I've ever seen it's more like an espresso size <laughs> really small look at that I ordered tea with milk thinking yeah I don't want to drink black tea it's hot milk instead of water like look it's hot milk and I've got to put a tea bag in hot milk 
Very fussy over your tea. I already know I'm not going to enjoy this. We're not in England now, we're in Barcelona, so it's wet and warm, just mm. drinking. Nobody makes tea with hot milk. Oh, whatever. I was telling him, oh, shut up, Kev, just try it. I've just had a sip, it's absolutely mangy. It's weird, yeah. it is weird. It's like a weak milkshake, tea milkshake. I'll drink it. Yeah, let's get to the food market. I'm, I'm sure there's better things waiting for us there. Hopefully. Stacey's found one that she prefers. So like just down from the McDonald's, they've got a chocolate shop with like a, a replica of it. It's quite big. I want, I want to eat it. <laughs> right, so we just come into this fancy chocolate shop and the, there was a guy at the front like doing samples and I was like so excited. I was already working out like how we're going to go round and change these guys. I thought I'd go round again and take my top off. He's hanging out nugget and I hate nugget. Kev uh, likes it. I thought it was like chocolate. Marzipan. I love all this kind of stuff. Look. Oh, I'm in like marzipan nugget heaven. I'm gutted. I was like, it's like a tiny air round to go back round again. But we come past later on and he's handing you like free chocolate out. We'll get some. I found some. There was a lady at the back and she's handing out chocolate. So I got a ball. Which one did you have? Chocolate. It's like a just mousse. chocolate. Just milk chocolate, I think. I had cinnamon. Oh, did you? Mm. Right, take my coat off. I'm going round again. Time yeah, back. Right, so feeling really posh now. We've had some chocolate. Normally be happy back home with four double deckers from home bargains, but this cost, we've had some posh chocolate. Like I say, this cost quite a bit more than four double deckers. <laughs> so we got some like uh, coconut encased chocolate and some almond chocolate, like with big whole almonds in. We're obviously going to take these home. Yeah, uh, from Toron's Artisan Chocolate. They come on little wooden boards. Pretty cool. Uh, it did cost 18 euros for two pieces of chocolate, but I'm sure it's going to be well worth it. The chocolate in there we tasted was delicious, so... As always, we were wrong. We're guessing this is the entrance. What what were you saying, Justice? Be watch for our riveting personalities, not for facts. Yeah, don't come to us for facts. Yeah, don't come to us But this facts. bit is a lot busier all around the... It is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like this bit at the front is very old. Yeah. That was and then obviously this bit. Don't don't shout at me. This bit needs jet washing, so it looks new like the other bits. <laughs> no, that's part of the theme. I think that's I supposed know. to be like gothic style. I think it's Art like, Nouveau. That's what I saw on Google anyway. Okay. Ooh, dog. Yeah. So across from like what we're saying is now the main entrance is the Gaudi Park. It's a nice little place, there's a lot more people here taking photos. Uh, over there somewhere, have got like the old people playing, you know, like the stainless steel bowls. So if you're walking through and wondering what all them banging noises are, it's, um, it's nice here. It's, it's, I'd say it's peaceful, but there's a lot of people here. I suppose if you come at night, it's a bit quieter, it would be really nice and peaceful. Stacy thought this was a real Christmas tree. It looks like a Christmas tree there, with doves. I'm guessing it's got doves coming out of it. But she thought that was real and thought it was netted up. So uh, this is what I have to deal with. Oh, and I know we said, we said like it was sold out today on the official website, but they do guided tours like different companies do. So like if you're desperate to see it, maybe check out one of the guided tours that might have access. You'll probably end up paying more, but if you're desperate to see it and you're not here for very long, I suppose it's worth it. So we're now just here in what they're calling like the heart. <laughs> Stacey's screaming already. The heart of like Barcelona, this square with uh, you've got these two fountains here, and uh, Stacey's bricking it because there's lots of pigeons. We're not getting any food to feed them, I don't want to be food on. Yeah, but well, that might happen anyway. There's a lot of pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of the birds themselves, I just don't want to be food on. Yeah, 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 we've got wet wipes, it's okay. So, yeah, this. Um, this like heart of the square, I think straight down that way, which is where we're kind of heading now. That's La Rambla. That's like the big main street that leads you down to the harbour. That's also got the um, the big food market on it, which we'll be going in a minute. And then it just after that, we got the Barcelona Cathedral. But uh, we came here last night and ate at Hard Rock, just over here. Very Barcelona-ish of us, I know, Hard Rock. <laughs> but um, next door to it is this Primark. So, if you need some extra bits, we always say this when there's a Primark, but if you need some new knickers, 
Oh, you forgot some socks. And I'm trying not to get hit by flying pigeons. Then Primark's the place to go. So we're at the Mercado della Bucaria. This is what we're calling it. Don't moan if it's wrong. You know, okay, don't yeah, moan. That's, that's, what, that's what we're going with. But this place is absolutely heaving. So it is about lunchtime now. Yeah. So obviously it is really, really busy. You know, locals getting the food, I suppose, at work, lunchtime yeah. at work. Uh, but we, we don't know what to see. We're going to have a look around. We're going to sample some bits. We'll do that after. We're going to try. But yeah, like I say, it is heaving. So we'll see how we get on with the camera work. We're not going to be able to stand in the middle of it no. and just chat. You'll see what you see. <laughs> yeah. Right. I know this place does loads of fruit and like all juices and stuff. And you can see them all here, all different juices and cups. Fruits and cups. I mean, look at that. Yeah, definitely grab one of them after. Because I really want to try some of that. I mean, there seems a lot of fruit here so far. Let's say you've got all the juices. Oh, little pasties. Oh, steaks with chips, uh, wedgies, everything. Tater twirls on a stick. Honest to God, we're going to be. I'm glad we've had no breakfast. I know, yeah, good job. We've had no breakfast, so. Oh, look at these little pasties, empanadas, mozzarella, spinach, chicken. Oh, right, we're going to walk around and then we're going to grab stuff. More juices. Like the juices look really nice. I don't know if they put colours in them or something. They're so vibrant. Oh, oh there's like a little Mexican one here. It like, looks like burritos here. And they've got nachos. Oh, they've got them Mexican pops. Yes. Remember them, Stace? Them uh, Jerry Toes? Where did we have one of them? Where did I have one of them? America. No. No? Where? We'll tell you in a minute. We're getting out of people's way as well, but can you not remember? No, Madeira. No, on the last cruise at the oh, Mexican Ola. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah, yes. see, so you know this must be good if they've got imported Mexican drinks. Oh, everything looks amazing. Oh, they've got jamon and uh, charizos. So they've also got like proper butchers with raw meats as well. So it's not just all like freshly made stuff. They've also got like the Parma hams. Stacy doesn't like these in the shops. She always moans about these. Yeah, she doesn't like the smell of uh, like Iberico hams and Parma hams and stuff like that. But uh, it's so busy. Well, I don't know what they are, but you cannot say that they are not filled. Not like, yeah, not like a sausage roll you get back home where it's like 67% pastry. I'm a drooling. Yeah, I'm I am. Like, I'm glad you can't see me. I don't know where to start. Even if you're in the mood for some steak, they've got it cooked. Not to Stacey's liking. But if you're a rare, medium, rare kind of guy, or gal, you uh, you can have a cold steak. Oh, chicken burritos, like this is like barbecue Stacey's sauce. just looking at chicken burritos here. We're calling them burritos, we don't know what they are. So they do also have like little cafe restaurants, but it's literally, you've, you've got to fight to get a table. This one looks like fresh fish. I can see all raw fish there. I guess it's cooked to order. Oh, this guy's got some uh, paella. Oh, I do like a paella. Oh, so you can have like <laughs> little cone of crisps. They call them chips, but the crisps and uh, little ham. Oh, like cheese and little um, breadsticks with ham as well. I thought they were proper chips then, but it's not. It's uh, big chunks of cheese. Everything looks so delicious. Stacey's just said like, we're probably gonna have to do this in a couple of trips because we're gonna have to find somewhere to eat <laughs> and then like eat a little bit and then go get some more and eat a little bit and go get some more. See, here's another little cafe. I'm guessing it's another little fish one. Oh yeah, you can see it all over there. All these fresh mussels, mussels and stuff, calamari. Oh, I could go for some calamari. Oh, pizza. Now, we're not gonna eat pizza probably because we are going to Naples in a few days. So like, we will be eating fresh Neapolitan pizza. But, oh, look at it. it. It's really tempting. Oh, and then you've got like, all fresh battered cooked fish. Like little crab croquettes. Oh. Obviously that's not fresh calamari. It does it looks like the, the frozen stuff, but the rest of it looks nice and fresh. Oysters. Oh, and you can have some um, 
what they're calling sea hedgehogs, uh, sea anemones, not anemones, urchins. That's what they are. We've got the, the fish market bit, but look at the size of this lobster. It's massive. I always like the, the foreign, you know, Spanish and the Portuguese fish markets because they have such bright, like fresh, beautiful fish. We're lucky to just get like cod back home. And even that's a, a stretch nowadays. We have fresh like octopus, not little ones, big ones, little squids, longestines, crab legs, crabs. Oh, this guy's alive. He's still alive and kicking. Oh, and this crab? Oh. Right, so first up, I went for the vegan corn dog. I do eat meat, but I also like trying like vegan and vegetarian options. So I thought this has got taters on, so I'm going to go for it. I was just about to say, Stacey went for this one over a normal corn dog because it's had potatoes in the batter as well. Mm, that's really nice. To be fair, you wouldn't tell it was vegan. It just tastes like a smoked hot dog. I absolutely love like the crispy um, taters. We tried one of these a New York like a yeah, corn a dog. Yeah, a Korean one. A Korean one. Yeah, that yeah. had big uh, chunks of potato on it. I think it'd be nice with like a bit of... I was just about to say, you've got no sauce. Like sweet chilli sauce or something like that. Yeah, it's not too dry, but... Mm. That was, um, if memory serves me right, that was three euros 80. And he has warmed it up. Mm -hmm. And I've also, so I've also gone for the tomato and mozzarella. Like an empanada, yeah. it was. It looks like it's got a bit of like seasoning on top there. I guess it's like oregano. I love like pastries and things like that so oh well mm. that is so nice there's something about like spanish tomatoes they're also like real juicy and tasty i'm just gonna warn you while what? your show is inside don't wave it about too much because i can see it falling off and you're just holding a <laughs> tiny <laughs> piece of pastry but, but it's got like pesto or something like all the way through the middle as well mm. Yeah, I'll just go get another few, five maybe, and I'll be back. I think that was three euros I'm as really she walked off, and I think <laughs> they were three euros or four for ten. I think I'd like to try one with like chicken in as well. There was some. There was like loads. Chicken there was pumpkin, yeah. chicken, beef, and all different kinds of ones. Pork. Yeah, I do like that though. Right, so I've got like some mixed, deep fried. I'm dropping them little fish bits. So like, if that shows, it's like a whole little fish. Mmm. Just a whole prawn. You've got a bit more exciting than me. <laughs> a bit more like, adventurous. Heads and everything. I don't know what. Mm. Just like a very small bit of batter. Just a bit of salt on. She has given me some lemon, but I'm struggling to hold everything. This was six euros. One yes, this was six euros. This was the most expensive thing. But it's nice, just like a snorty little salty little snack. It's hard to say with a mouthful of fish. I'd do that all day. Stacey wouldn't, because she'd be like, oh, it's got a head on it. <laughs> I'd do that, I don't want to bother. Right, okay, so I'm going to try a bit of Kev's fish, even though it's still got all the bits in. This is very daring for Stacey. It's actually nice. You can't tell, yeah. can you? No, I don't think I'd do the prawn with its head on and things, all crispy. But that's quite nice. I like that. And then next I've had just like a little cone of ham and cheese and some little breadsticks this was four euros it's quite a bit of ham in it but like you know just that thinly shaved spanish dried ham sorry if it's a bit noisy mm, i love this ham i could eat this ham i think i'll try it is it smoked yeah no, not really it's cured dry cured and then this spanish cheese is just a very bland cheese Stacey's kind of cheese. I'm a strong yeah, cheese kind of guy. Like, yeah, I like mozzarella and things like that. Cheddar is a push. Yeah, but ah, uh, I could be Spanish. I could eat this stuff all day long. Do you reckon they'll adopt me, the country, and just let me eat cheese and ham all day? So I'm a bit worried about this one. That it's going to go down. Me, like we just took that there. But you've got to take risks, right? For tasty food. If it does, it does. But I've gone for a chicken burrito. It looks absolutely delicious. That's barbecue so barbecue sauce that he's smothered in, and it looks like deep fried burrito. Yeah, it does with it. Yeah, like it bread just looks crispy. It's chicken. This I think they're going to blow. Yeah. It's just going to blow. <laughs> yeah. Right, here you go. Yeah, they had loads of different ones of these. This was six euros. Uh, it looked like it was deep fried and breadcrumbed, and it smells delicious already. It's got 
cheese in as well. Oh, let's have a look. That always got peppers in. Oh. oh my gosh, that's absolutely delicious. Because they warmed it up, it's still a little bit crispy, but it's gone a little bit soft. But I wouldn't mind that cold either with like a really crispy like outside. Oh yeah, it does oh. look nice. Mm. Well oh. worth six euros. After seeing Stacey with her like little pasties, I was craving a bit of pastry, so this one is a spicy chicken empanada, but it's had a Venezuelan flag next to it, so I'm guessing this might be like a Venezuelan temp take on an empanada or something. That's really different. The pastry's not like a pastry. It's as if it's made out of like corn, like corn maize, corn flour, not corn flour. You know what I mean? What they make tacos out of. Like, look, it's really thick, and it's not like soft like a, a normal what Stacey had before. It's the chicken taste. The chicken's really chopped up with like little bits of pepper and onion stuff. It's thick. It's not spicy. I was expecting that, like, but it's not. But it's just different. Enjoyable, but maybe if it was a bit had a bit of sauce, it would be a bit better. I'm glad I changed my mind because I was going to have two of them Venezuelan ones, but I didn't. Uh, this one is a spicy carne beef with a proper pastry. This is what I'm really looking forward to. This is what I want, proper pastry. Oh, that was a pleasant surprise. It's got egg in it. Oh. Yeah, it's got beef mince and hard boiled egg in it. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> it's just like, if you saw my face, I was like, oh. I thought it was like pale chicken. <laughs> That's nice. That's really tasty. That's what I want. And they were three euros each. So not too bad for that. You know, because it's like a, the world famous like Barcelona food market. It's like I was expecting stuff to be more like, you know, obviously it's not as cheap as, you know, if you eat at the restaurants, I know they're very expensive. The little sit-down bits, if you can I get. Was, were you expecting them to be more, though, than what they are? I mean, three euros for like that isn't too bad. So yeah, it could be more expensive, but don't tell them that. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> right, so we're just gonna finish off now with a cup of fruit, because <laughs> I, I had to get one of these, and we've had a coconut and mango. mango juice. Yeah, so we're gonna, um, you could keep going round and there's loads of stuff we see we want to try but I'm pretty full now after all that and yep. I just want something a bit refreshing because obviously we are going on a cruise tomorrow yes. so we want to pace ourselves because we're going to be eating a lot on there yep. but um, let us know if you've been to this market or are you planning on coming or because yeah, it is absolutely amazing and what did you try if you came? Yeah yeah definitely highly recommend coming but try avoid dinner time because it's very busy. <laughs> <laughs> so while we were just across the road at the market we thought we'll come to the Barcelona Cathedral uh, Lovely Cathedral up until the big Galaxy Z Fold 4 flip advert I don't really think that goes with the gothic facade of the ch church Why would you do that? I didn't think it would get worse but I suppose it would if they were advertising like McDonald's Big Mac up there or like the six chicken nugget meal but, but anyway, it is nine euros each if yeah. you want to go in there. So um, it's not too badly priced. Um, it is supposed to be lovely. We're not going to go inside, but it is supposed to be really beautiful in there with like the stained glass windows and things. But yeah, a bit disappointed by the outside. So La Rambler is quite a long walk. We're not too far away now. I think we're about half a kilometer away. But if you do get tired, there's plenty of restaurants and cafes and stuff to stop and have a little drink maybe a snack there's a lot of uh, people dressed up like a dinosaur guy but we will be there soon okay stacy's feet are getting a bit tired now she's uh, got the wrong walking shoes on they are rubbing a bit i've got to get the old uh, plasters on them so yeah so we made it now we went all the way down last rambler and we're down by like the marina or harbour or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just over there, I can just see the top of a cruise ship. Don't know what it is, but that's where we'll be going tomorrow. To board ours. And then I didn't know this, there's some cable cars. I don't know if you can just make them out on top of uh, this little fake lighthousey kind of thing. But you can tell this is where the money is. 
look at those boats. They are some big boats. They look like the kind of like, I don't know, some guy with a lot of money in a helicopter lands on in the middle of the sea and just like has a million people looking after him. There is a shopping centre down here. We're just going to go there because uh, it's probably the easiest place to go for a, a quick pee. Oh, and then at the side of like the shopping centre, there's like a an eye, big Ferris wheel kind of thing. That one looks like it goes very quick. That's not as slow as like the Orlando eye we went on. That was really slow. That one looks really quick. We were just saying as well how lucky we would been weather-wise because a few days before we came out here, it'd give like cloudy and rain like all day for today and actually like it's really warm the, the sun, it must be warm if I've got my jacket off the sun's out and it, I think it did give a little bit of rain after four o'clock but it's about gone three now and so far it's not looking like any signs of rain so I think we've been really lucky so we can't moan at that but just hope the week on the cruise weather is as nice as this yeah but if, it does, if it does rain we'll just get a, a taxi back to the room and pretend we walked great idea but now yeah, I'm not dancing, I really do need to go to the toilet. Right, okay, so we're finished up here now in Barcelona. Like we say, we are here because we are going on a cruise from the port here. Yep. So we have only really had one full day here. But it, yeah. It's really nice, like, um, I'd love to come back again. Like, say it's only two fl a two hour flight from the UK. I'm yep. eating my area because it's a bit windy. <laughs> it is windy down here. <laughs> it's only a two hour flight from the UK, and I definitely love to come back for like a long weekend because obviously there's only so much you can do in a day. Yeah, because we've done a lot of walking. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we got here yesterday, it was like probably four, five o'clock by the time we got the hotel and stuff, yeah, so we missed out a chunk of yesterday. So don't forget to subscribe down below to One Couple's Adventure. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know if you've been, have you caught a cruise from Barcelona or if you've just been to Barcelona in general yeah. without catching a cruise, uh, let us know what you enjoyed about it. And But we are really looking forward to our to catching the cruise and so we're joining the MSC sea view when we get that right yep. yeah so we'll go through all that process of the embarkation for that and show you kind of because obviously it's our first time doing this as well so any hints and tips we can give we will yeah hopefully we can we don't get lost and not end up on the cruise from it <laughs> but for now i think we're gonna i'm just really chilled it's really, really nice and warm on this bench we've got like the amazing view looking out in front of us so we're just gonna enjoy that yep so thanks for watching guys <laughs> see you next time bye, bye.